I just bought this at Poundland today and thought I'd um, take it a bit because um, it, it looks all right. It's a little um, desk lamp. So let's open it. Little goosenecky lamp. Okay. Uh, batteries. Um, it's held together. It's got a screw in the battery compartment, so no points for that. This is to make it childproof, but quite frankly, if children are prone to swallowing batteries, that's their tough shit. Um, stick some batteries in it. Oop, it's on already. Um, yeah. Oh, you can actually see the circuit board lighting through the back of it. Uh, they had black ones as well, but um, I didn't get one of the black ones. I got one of the white ones, partly to see if the light would shine through the back of it. So, yeah, little on-off switch. That looks all right. So let's open it up. Screwdriver. A flat blade screwdriver to pop the front off, I guess. I don't see any screws holding this together. So, let's use the force. Oh, okay. Oh, it is. It's just held by two clips at the side. And a circuit board that's held in by nothing at all. Yeah, uh, just being forced in there. Okay, so it's got five LEDs, no resistors whatsoever. Um, it does look like it's got a position for a resistor. I wonder why they've not used a resistor. Oh no, actually, that's not a position for a res uh, Yes, it could actually be a position for a resistor if you put the resistor between there and there. Anyway, what's in the base? Let's see if there is a resistor because I don't like a... I don't like some of the products that overdrive the LEDs. Uh, by just slapping them across the battery. The magic number of three screws, very common. Let's see if there is a resistor in the base. Yes, there is. There is a resistor next to the on-off switch. Let's see. Um, it's kind of small and hard to read, so I shall get the test meter over. And we'll check the resistance value, which is oh, 8.1 ohms. Really? OK. Oh, it's 8.2 ohms. That says the closest standard value to that. So what voltage is being dropped across that? Oh, very random voltage being dropped across that. I don't know if I'm getting a good connection here. So let's say 0.84. Uh, calculator. 0.84 divided by, did I say that was 8.2 ohms? equals 100 milliamps, 100 milliamps divided by the five LEDs is 20 milliamps each. So even with a full fresh set of batteries, it's not overdriving the LEDs. It's driving them at their maximum standard rating of about 20 milliamps. So that's all right. And the fact it uses double A's as well is quite nice. So this could actually be quite a useful little desk lamp. Yeah, that's all right. That's pretty good for a pound.